Hey guys, I just want to videotape this for a second. I think it, I think this call is from that dumb Dave who I'm now officially mad at after being all into Dave. Now I'm like, Dave, what the fuck? Okay, Dave. So if this is you, yeah, I'm going to do a rant about this fucking phone call. If this is the right one. Now, apparently Jimmy thinks I'm madly in love with Ernie because Ernie needs a place. And, and Team Rose has got 50 Airbnbs and Ernie can easily come and stay in one of my Airbnbs even though he would never go to the state of Maine. He, he only wants to mm, come to California. All right, so what is this call, phone call? Although I do want to take him to LA and go learn that dance routine. Also, he was just talking to Chrissy who, um, he goes, yeah, Team Rose is madly in love with Ernie. Of course, Chrissy's like, oh, oh. And then she naturally mentions the truth, which is that I'm too old for Ernie because he's only 42 and I'm almost 60. I'm 59. Although I did marry somebody the exact same age. Anyway, that was back in the day. Um, Ernie needs someone who can have a child. So she's like, oh, when they make a cute kid, they should have a child, have a baby. I'm like, I'm too old. What's wrong with you guys? Come on. But anyways, listen. He didn't do that criminal. That's right. He, he did not do nothing criminal. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you're being nice to Ernie. Thank you. You have no idea how much I love you more when you're nice to Ernie. Because I will fucking kill you if you say one bad thing about Ernie on this show. Because I need this show. And you will not be mean to Ernie. And thank you, God. You were so good tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Anyway, listen to this. Dolly. Hotline. Dolly. Hello, baby. Hey, man. Dude, I saw that video, all right? So now. Listen to that. This is Dave. This is the third time Dave has called and tried to convince Jimmy that Ernie is faking. And it's bullshit. Dave, I'm so mad at you. So fucking mad at you now. He was aware enough, like, when he knew it was kind of, like, going down, he said, I'm PTSD. You heard that? Yeah, because he knows about that, Dave. And thank God Jimmy defends um, Ernie on this. Ernie is not faking it. And Dave, now I get why you get, now I get it, Dave, why you get, why you're always put in jail. I'm going to start putting you in jail, too. And I'm not bailing you out next time. No way. Right before he, like, actually went, yeah, 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 right? He knows something's wrong yeah, with him. He, yeah. He's not fair enough, huh? People know when they're crazy, they know something's wrong That's with great. him. That's great. No, dude, I'm telling you, this freaking, how we, okay, if you're aware enough to know, like, what's going on, don't you know that, like, when you're strolling around the, along a freeway that you're going to attract cops, right? I mean, Look, that, that's, that's one of the reasons he gets nervous. On one hand, he'd like to call 911 because that's what us Americans do when we're in trouble, right? So on one hand, Ernie wants to call 911 and thinks, yes, I'll call 911 because that's what we do here in America. When we're in trouble, we call 9 fucking 911. 9 fucking 11, right? Okay? So Dave's argument is so fucking stupid. I can't even believe I'm wasting my time even talking about it because it's so dumb I don't want to highlight it. But if anybody else is thinking as dumb as Dave, stop. Stop with your dumb. Okay? Why are you, uh, what do you mean? And then he criticizes the hat, which is a very cool art piece. The hat is awesome. Okay, Dave, you're just jealous. What's your problem, Dave? And thank you, Jimmy, for defending him because you know the truth, Jimmy. You know the truth about Ernie. And Ernie is awesome. And I'm glad you're being awesome because I couldn't take it. <laughs> I would go over the edge. Thank God. Thank God, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. I feel so much more love for you right now. Okay, what you and don't understand he is these type of things come and go. Right. That's right. Look, these kind of things come and go. Also, it's not just the cops he's afraid of. Dave is trying to act like Ernie staged this. Bullshit. Actually, another part of this is that Tiffany, his alleged damn girlfriend, told him that Ernie was let out. And Ernie is terrified of his brother. He knows what his brother is capable of, and he is terrified of his brother legitimately. And so am I. Everybody should be. And Dave, ooh, you're being such an idiot. I just, I'm so fucking mad at you. On a, oh god. It's not like all that shit. And so, don't you think that like he's doing it like as a no. thing? Like he's like attempt. He's like no. attempting no. to have the police 
Oh do God, something dude. like he did. No. You know, like, as it could possibly no. be, like, no. Maybe, no, I think like, a case against, against the police. No. 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 No, Dave. Dude, I mean, think think hard about bringing, like, no, Dave, you're an idiot. I don't idiot. think anybody's going to walk down an interstate sweating their ass off in hot right. weather, That's right. hot, and get tased by the police That's on purpose. Right. There's just no fucking way That's in hell. Right. Dude, there is like, it's like a jackass. How much no. money he makes off YouTube? He don't make that much money. He off makes of YouTube. literally like fucking music. nothing off of YouTube right now. He doesn't. He he can't get memberships. He can't get super chats. He has to beg at the end only because he whatever I don't know. And you know he's reduced it to one sentence now at the end. You know the guy. The guy is you know trying to figure out what to do. He's probably got a lot of pressures. There's probably women in the background or demanding money. He's got to find a way to make a living. You know this is very unfair. What Dave says, and I'm very glad that er, that Jimmy sees clearly on. Uh, I mean, sorry, Jimmy sees clearly on Ernie, and 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 defends him. And you stay with this, Jimmy, because Ernie deserves it. He's a good man, and he deserves our support and our protection as well. Don't tase me, bro. Yeah. All right, hold on. Yeah, exactly. Don't tase me, bro. He you didn't know, say that. Like, oh, my God, I want to fucking kill Dave. He didn't say that. He was shot at by cops. I'm sure he was traumatized for that. I can't believe he's ever, ever uh, been so in support of L.E. after that. But he's, he's been traumatized by cops because they shot at him. And then his brother is crazy. And he's been traumatized by his brother who threatened to kill him and everybody. His brother writes horrible letters. It's very upsetting for the family. The whole, everybody's traumatized by it. Ernie's traumatized. His mother's by, the sisters, I don't know. The whole thing is very upsetting. For, and for Dave to say this, Dave, I am so shocked at you. I thought you were way cooler than this. On this timeline we're on, Dave, you're an idiot. You're acting stupid. And, you know, the fact that you didn't believe... The fact that you thought Jody Sue was so great was the first sign of, like, what the fuck, Dave? And this is... this is over. You're over the top, Dave. You're the one with the problem right now. You, not him. Was he back before we knew him? And then when you think about, like, all of his little videos was all was so low budget. Shut so up. All, like, beyond low budget. What are you doing, like, Dave? Like, not even close to what you It's do. his fucking and iPhone, like, fuck, for, you know, fuck face. Kind of on the, on the realm of BK. But I mean, Shut the fuck up. Not, Everybody like, uses their damn like, phone. Really Actually, bullshit, Dave. Dolly has whatever he's got. He, he, the, the phone is just as good. Okay? Shut up, Dave. He used his I goddamn iPhone when he was in the doing the lake thing. They all do. The iPhone is a great camera or the I mean, it's not as good as it used to be, but the Samsung, all those things, these are amazing cameras, Dave. What is wrong with you, Dave? Why are you dissing Ernie? I'm so fucking mad. Ooh. Like doing it off his iPhone or his, his Shut Android. up, Dave. That, like thing. his whole thing was about like low budget video. No, it's not. Can't it be? He's sharing his life. He's not a rich, rich prince like you are, David. He didn't wasn't born into money. Like you know, think about it. Like, this is, the dude is like a weirdo, and the, like the hat, it's the hat. It's just freaking like, dude. He's yeah, like, he's crazy. He's a little crazy. It's a little fucking crazy. Okay, who isn't? So are you, obviously, Dave. His hat is great. It's a great hat. It's a cool hat. It's a wonderful hat. He made it himself. For his own use, and he did it. It's cool, okay? People can do things like that, Dave. Okay, the hat is cool, and that hat belongs to me, by the way. But he can use it anytime he fucking wants. And for you, dude, I, dude, I can totally see how this is all made up. Well, whatever, and, Dave. And, You're and made up. Don't. You, don't you know what, Dave? Life. You know what, Dave? Your perceptions suck now because you think Jody Sue is straight up. So when I went, when you went go goo goo gaga over Jody Sue, you're welcome here, Jody Sue. You're the greatest thing that ever happened, Jody Sue. I'm like, what is your fucking problem, Dave? She's a fucking liar, and it's so obvious. A uh, duh, Dave. A uh, duh. No, this ain't no. Hard, hard, hard. No, no, Jimmy. Bro. That's like Dave. Think about like Dave. What? I'm gonna take my foot and huh. kick you, slam dead in your ass, and it's gonna go viral, and you're gonna be the dude that got kicked in the ass. Ernie is viral for like this genre. Shut the fuck know, up, Dave. We saying, all know who he is. Yeah, I know, but who wants to be known as the dude who got tased in the neck? Nobody. 
It, I don't know exactly how that works, well, but Dave, you know. Over, let me well, then you. shut up, Dave. If you don't know how it works, it's because it doesn't work. Nobody wants that. He didn't want that. He was terrified. He's always afraid of cops, but he doesn't know what else to do. He's afraid of everyone. He's he's legitimately he's if he's paranoid, he has a right to be. It's not paranoid if people are if it's real. Okay? It's not paranoid if it's true. You want to call me paranoid? Go ahead. Hitmen are real, and you know they are, Jimmy. You're the one I learned about them from. You, Jimmy, and you're the reason I have all these fucking hit men people and stalkers on my ass right now. Dude, it, it, dude that happens. I mean, you do, do, you do Dave. Who's that, uh, who's that jackass? I ain't that saying it late. don't happen. I'm just saying Ernie Shell wasn't faking that. No, he, was he wasn't. Sweating, like, like he had spent the night in Devo's pigeon coop. Oh, okay? God, it takes my heart to think about it. We were all traumatized yeah, you weren't there. Three hours by weren't watching him. him get taped. Three hours in the heat, the Georgia heat. Yeah. Okay. Have you spent three hours in the Georgia heat? No, you haven't, Dave. You've never experienced a single hot day Ever. without air conditioning. And I'm just saying, I've spent a lot of hours in the Georgia heat. It's hot as fuck. And when I say hot as fuck, I mean yeah, with a capital baby. F. He's out please. there. You can literally sweat to death out there. You can literally walk down that interstate long enough and die. Okay, in a day. Know, no, it's, it's that hot. Like it's that damn game. hot. You can see how much he was sweating, right? And he doesn't even sweat. That wasn't fake. Yep. You don't fake that. Dude. Yeah, you don't fake that, Dave. You're being it, an I mean, asshole. It is the wall. He could have got up here. Like, he could have got up he here. Gone, he could have posted, I'm going to expose he BK, he and he would have got just as many people watching him. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to walk down the interstate no, head by traffic no, case and neck for a view. Come Dave, on, you're an bro. idiot. I officially hate you. Take a, take a, take a check on uh, and it was you. If it was you, I I'm ain't doing with. that. No. No, no, I'm just saying. If it was you, if it was you. I won't. Dave, I ain't doing stop eating, you eating fucking mushrooms, you, you fucker. I ain't get tased in the neck. I ain't doing shit. I know. You you're like respectable. Right? Shut yeah, up, Dave. I don't that bad. Dave, you hurt. Do that, though. I'm I'm kidding, later, I put myself in danger or hurt somebody or anything for a view. Fuck that. Yeah. I know, I know, I'm just saying that you were that crazy. You're not. You know, you oh, shut that, up, Dave. That's kind of what he is, bro. I mean, no. you look back. I'm telling you, go back. No. No. Okay, all right, man, I gotta get ready to go. Bro. Yeah, hang up on that fucker. Here, bro. Now um, I want you to fucking hit. I don't think he faked it. He did If you think Ernie faked it, press one. If you think it was real, press two. Let's just see where the chat room's at. Y'all hit the you chat. You know it wasn't yeah. fake. I didn't even, I missed this part. Make sure y'all like the video also if you're just tuning in. Let's see if we can get me to a smooth 500 tonight. If we can get me to 500. Smooth. I might buy Lolo a beef stick. All right. Y'all can get Lolo a beef stick. No one's even put in the numbers. Like one, one, two, two. All right. Some people believe it was real. Some people believe it was fake as hell. I, I see a lot of people that believe it was fake too. Assholes. I forget which one. I just don't see nobody faking that. You didn't fake it. Okay. You people are retarded. There's a lot of shit you're going to do, but you ain't going to put your life the in danger. Files? Get tased. It'd be fake. Uh, come okay? on. Absolutely. I don't think the police thought it was fake. They didn't. And they thought that shit was real. Real enough to tase his ass. In the yeah. Middle. Oh, yeah, I don't actually know if he got tased. You know what? You're a neck. fucking troublemaker, man. Else. But it just sounds good saying, in the neck. All right, he got tased in the neck. <laughs> you know what I'm he got tased in the aorta. Ouch. So oh, one more blunt with us, Jimmy. Well, this one ain't gone. I'm still smoking this one. He ne Dolly, he never expected he was gonna get tased. I know. Not fake. Of Darryl, course not. Uh, says, He's afraid uh, of getting shot. Escape, not fake. He's afraid of getting shot. Oh, that's part of your name. You know, you you don't know what he's been through, Dave. You're a fucking asshole. You know what, Dave? You need to watch the goddamn trial. You need to know what. Ernie said about his brother and what his brother is capable of. And you're an idiot, Dave. And until you find out what his brother is capable of, don't you fucking say another goddamn word. Kill that fucking Dave now. Uh, uh, Jimmy, he messed with those cops for hours on the phone and his chap kept calling them. I know. I got in there. Really you know, with that was two days in a row <laughs> that I was trying to pull him out of traffic. You know what I'm saying? I haven't called Ernie yet. I'm going to call him tomorrow. Call him. Okay, see what's going on. I'll, I'll shoot him a message. Ernie usually hits me right back, too. He usually don't take long. He didn't Believe take it or not. I don't know why. Days. He just hits me back. I'm like, 
So I'll hit up Ernie tomorrow. I think it's 72 hour hold or whatever. It should be over by then. God. And we'll see what's going on with him. And uh, with some of the people that are on his neck right now, man, y'all be cool. Let him get his head right for a little bit. Yeah. You know, just Leave get that man alone. a couple days to get his shit right. At least long enough to get out of traffic. Okay? Can everybody Don't you say another word, a negative word about him, him ever again. You know, why does everybody got fucked with the dude when he's staying on the interstate where we? I'm scared he's going to run into traffic? So I got to sit on he the edge of my seat every time this motherfucker crosses a road. Oh, <laughs> he's baby. a grown ass man. You stick up for him. Somebody says, uh, best thing for uh, fear over fire, best thing for you, Ernie, to do is stay off the internet. That's At least for a little bit. Well, you know you what? Know, get everything right with you. Jimmy. You know. You know, right Jimmy. Now, like, you, you, you would die without your internet. No one should be without it if they want it. I have tenants back home that don't have their internet right fucking now. I have to do something about that. I just paid. I paid. It's on automatic. I don't get it. You know, Ernie Ernie loves his people that love him. He needs those people. You know, we need these. I would have died without you guys. You know, Dave has no fucking Best clue. time for you to be on the internet. Get everything taken care of. Make he sure everything's right internet. with you. He should be and allowed to have it. There's plenty of time for this internet shit. There's you know, even me need a little break from it. And yeah, I we all need a break from it. But it's, it's also a way for him to make a living. He should be able, able to do that. He's trying to figure it out. I mean, you know, he's out there trying to do it. He's got so much shit. It's like, which direction does he, you know? And then he gets these shitty lawyers and he's trying to come up with the money. You know, at one point I said, look, I'll help you pay the, I'll help you get a car, but I'm not going to pay your legal fees because I've got my own legal fees and legal, they'll just eat you alive. I mean, if you don't save your money, you will have no money. You know, I'm not into just throwing all my money away. And especially I hate, most of all, I hate giving my money to lawyers. Absolutely hate giving my money to lawyers. I'm so glad you didn't bash him tonight. I could not fucking take it. I could not fucking take it. I do find him comforting at times. I, I you know, this was one of those nights where, you know, his show can be really interesting. I, you know, I don't know exactly when I'm going to take that little break, but I'm going to take me a couple little days you know, for myself, you know, not, I'll go somewhere, maybe go camping, because I'm, you know, I'm trying to get me a bunch of camping gear together, maybe I'll go somewhere camping for a couple of days, a little bit of peace and quiet, you be careful you know, out there, just enjoy it, I don't know, who's calling in now, right, who is this calling me, let's I see, all right, the Dolly Hotline, uh, yeah, this is Mark from Minnesota. What's up, Mark from Minnesota? Um, I would tell you that, that Ernie Shells is definitely schizophrenic. I'm schizophrenic myself. Uh huh. And what? What? Is, and I'm on medication. What? What? Is, what is what's, the science? Yeah, what's schizophrenic, think he's schizophrenic mean to you? To think that people are out to get him. Look, that is a fact. His brother wants to kill him. There's other people that want to kill him. This is a fact, okay? So this guy is full of it because they, these are real things. I don't know what he says. Would that make him delusional? Yeah. No. But that wouldn't necessarily mean he's schizophrenic. Not if it's real. He actually does have people who are out to kill him. Even Lisa said it's true. She knows. She's a straight-up woman. She's not going to lie about that. His, his, his fears are real. They're not paranoid. They're not delusional. They're real fears based on reality, guys. Reality. I would think schizophrenia would be somebody that had a multiple personality disorder. That's a multiple well, no, personality that's disorder. That, that, that ain't schizophrenia, <laughs> multiple personal. That, no. That, that's what schizophrenia was. No. What is it? Okay, what... Not with me, anyway. What is your... What is... So you suffer from schizophrenia. Yeah. So what are your what do you, what what do you go through with it? Yeah. Well, I'm on medication now, and I've been on medication for about five years. Uh huh. 
when yeah. you're not. When, uh, uh, which kind? Have you had? Have, have you ever had any problems like Ernie Shell? With third man? Yeah. Yeah. Um, any things of like, what, what is that all that your problem is with schizophrenia? Do you have any other symptoms like? Do you, sometimes do you think you're somebody else? Do you, like, do you talk about yourself maybe third person? Do you hear voices or any of those things? Yes, I heard voices. Okay, I, I mean, I know that falls under the schizophrenia vo- thing a lot of times. I don't know if Ernie hears voices, whatever. It's like, it's not all the time. Hearing voices or things that ain't I just need to go cry right there. now. This is upsetting me. Anyway, you should watch Dolly. Obviously, I like the way his show's going tonight. I just have to cry now. Yeah. So once your medicine was good, you you're like you're able to handle. Yeah. What's the medicine? Pretty good. What kind do you take? Latuda. Latuda. Okay. Loracidone. Loracidone. Yeah, I don't know none of the medicine. And. But that they help you cope with everything and be fine. Yep. So yeah, that's what I was saying. It's a matter of getting Ernie's medicine right and him him getting used to it. Because sometimes when you start new medicine, it takes a while it needs for to be it to away get from your system to triggers. actually work. You know, and all it does is get worse. His symptoms will get worse. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think he's getting the help he needs right now because he, you know, he's there. He's been there for the last. He has few to. Days. He cannot drive I'm alone. Sure the doctors are seeing him things like he didn't do nothing criminal, so they oh, weren't going to put him in jail. He didn't. They were just trying to get yeah. him under control, you know. Um, yeah. No, when you, no, when your it, medicines were like, could you could you control yourself when like you were going through one of these episodes when you was like your medicine was messed up or you wasn't on your medicine, or was it you just kind of out there and like? I went. I went to the police and told them what I was thinking. And and uh, the voice I was hearing and, and, uh, and uh, first of all, to me and telling me okay, to, look, this is different. Okay, Ernie Shell is this is different. He has real trauma from being actually attacked. His brother did threaten to kill him. He put a gun to his head. His brother did do horrible crimes and described the horrible crimes. His own brother that he was close to and that was very traumatizing to him. And the fact that he has held it together as well as he had all these. Years is amazing and shows how strong that he is. These fucking people. You people, you don't know anything, okay? You don't know anything. You sons of bitches. I mean, every time he turns around and and and, and BK and those people, Jimmy. They have hurt. They have hurt him. And I'm glad you don't make fun of him. You d- and don't you dare make fun of him ever again. You know he doesn't do drugs, and that's what you say. You don't ever act like he might, because he doesn't. That's not the thing. And we don't want him to hooked on these fucking drugs. You know, he's got to figure out how to deal with this. It's not easy. He's, he's terrified. It's real. He lives in fear every day. It's not delusional. They're real threats. Like that fucking psycho Avery. You know that she's insane and she'll never quit. Mo ditched you because you didn't, she had to have every single thing under her control or else. She ditched you over Tracy? The most benign person on earth? Tracy does nothing mean to anyone. And Mo acts like, oh, she's so stupid. Well, then shut the fuck up and leave her alone. If you think she's so stupid, then leave her alone. Then why do you miss her friendship, Mo? Because you admitted that to me, that you missed her friendship. But you can't have her in the chat because she won't talk to you anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what a narcissist does. I have those kind of people in my life too. You, You With siblings, if they don't get total control over you, then they will destroy you. Yeah, it's this big crazy narcissist thing. 
sociopaths and P-S-Y-C-H-O paths, okay? Anytime that Ernie Shell has gotten into one of these states, he does not get violent. He does not make threats. He acts perfect. And he still gets shit on by these big, fat, macho fucking cops. It's the only reason to become a cop, Ernie, is to, to be protected by the fucking position. You know? You know what I mean? I don't know what to do. You know? Jimmy's like, you, Ernie needs a place, Team Rose. You got to go save him. People think I'm going to go save him. Probably because I should, somebody's got to do it. There's no way to connect with Ernie Shell and sneak him away without everybody knowing about it. Yeah, I was going to call back and say, hey, Jimmy, what about you and Bullhorn Betty? I heard you too. Ha, 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 You and Bullhorn, are you in love with Bullhorn Betty now? Are you? Are you? Well, are you? Are you in love with Bullhorn Betty? We heard you got, you too got it on. I don't even get it on with nobody. I ain't getting on with no one. No one's strapping me up. <laughs> Except in their imagination. <clears throat> well, I gotta get going. My crave. I'm up all night. You know. I'm so glad you did not say one mean thing. Thank God. You don't want to alienate the tigers. <laughs> you don't want to be one of those goat people. No, you're a turtle. Okay, you're not a goat man. Even though you might want to be a goat man. I won't let you. Dems aren't good. You're going to be good. And you owe me a bunch of shirts. And we're going to make one for Ernie too. And I'm not giving Dave one. Fuck him. I, the one I was going to go to Dave? Going to Ernie. You're not getting one, Dave, you fucker. How dare you? You know, he, he says he's known BK for a year. Yeah, well, BK and Don Wells have known each other 16 years, motherfucker. Sixteen years. They knew each other in prison, Dave. I'm glad I heard you talk about him like that, Dave. I think I could tell there was something wrong with you, Dave, when you were on and on and on about Jody Sue. Acting like she was this saint or something. I'm like, dude, really? Really? Instincts are off. You're not following your instincts, and if you are, your instincts are off. Well, at least we know Dave's not getting a shirt. What happened to Dave? What happened to Ernie? Now Dolly's acting not normal for a change. I like it when you act normal, Jimmy. I mean, ish, you know, funny, but normal for you. You know, you know what I mean. I'll be back. Love you.